Recent advances in imaging technology mean doctors can now use less radiation to get better images of patients. We spoke to Dr. Robert Quigley, a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Children's Hospital at Erlanger, about their new standing x-ray machine. The technology delivers quick 3D models for patients with only a fraction of the radiation. Are you ready? Are you nervous? And then we're going to come right over here and then step right up in here. We're going to be facing this wall. Just take a little step. An x-ray is a type of electromagnetic radiation that we are able to capture that goes through the body and the bones. The density is caught on the other side and we're able to get an image of the skeleton that way. Can you point to your belly button for me? If you end up needing a lot of x-rays over time, I think it's important that people know that they are exposing themselves to a significant amount of radiation and that could cause problems down the road. Some patients have very complex issues that need x-rays over a lifetime. And you take a child that starts us at age four and you take them out to age 18, I mean, that, that radiation can really build up. If we, I was going to order a CT scan, maybe I can get an EOS or the standing x-ray. A CT is 20 times the dose of radiation of a standard x-ray. The radiation savings from a CT scan is ginormous. It uses a new technology. We can see a wider range of grayscale. So like, you know, x-ray is not color, but for that, instead of just seeing like a hundred different shades of gray, now you can see thousands. And so it's a much more precise image, but it's done with the lower dose of radiation. There are two-dimensional images, but with modern technology, you can create a 3D model out of it with the computer. So before we got the EOS, what we did was shoot one, the top part, then we'd shoot the middle part, then we'd shoot the bottom part, and then we'd have to go back and we'd stitch the x-rays together. You have to stand still for a long time. Now, over, typically an exam takes about eight seconds to scan the whole segment that you're doing. That's front view and side view at the same time. So I think you save a lot of time. You don't have to stand still for as long, so I think it's better for kids. And then you don't have the stitching artifact that we called of kind of doing a gestalt of like, oh, that's right where, that's where we stitched. What are we seeing there? I'm not really sure. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll get it next time. I think that goes away. As a surgeon, I can take what used to be just x-rays and taking kind of one point, then creating a 3D model of it. I can be more precise. I can really zero in on each level of the spine that I might be fusing. From a surgical planning point of view, that's really helpful. Weight bearing makes a huge difference. You want to know what's happening to the skeleton as they're living through daily life. And so sometimes they'll come in with pain or they'll come in with a way that they look. And if you just lay them down, you're taking away exactly what's happening to the body when you're going through your day, walking you know, around the mall, walking to the grocery store, what's happening to your spine during that time, what's happening to your knee during that time, and you're able to capture that while they're standing instead of laying down into a traditional x-ray scanner. It's almost like that saying that knowledge is power, and so like being able to educate patients, and I have the monitor in the room with me, and I show them precisely what is going on with their child and having the child see exactly why they feel the way that they do has been really helpful because then when I can explain hey this is how we're going to fix it with surgery and then I can also show them what it would look like after surgery with that kind of precision I think it really helps families and patients wrap their mind around um, you know what the benefits of surgery would be and what they would expect to look like afterward or expect to feel afterward because you have this information that I think we didn't have before. We are still on the tip of the iceberg on this technology and trying to figure out a how can we really keep reducing the radiation that we're exposing patients to and then also where are we going to go technology wise as far as what, what can we take from these scans and then extrapolate out using technology on the computer as far as modeling, like I said before, 3D printing, 
even moving forward into like dynamic exams and knowing like maybe we take them in a couple of different positions, maybe not just standing, but what do they look like sitting or bending forward, and then save people higher doses of radiation with CT scans or um, surgeries even possibly. It is very exciting to be practicing medicine right now. What I'm doing today to help patients may look very different five to ten years from now. And I think that, yeah, it's very exciting.